How much has Tesla's autopilot system improved since it was first launched in 2015? I'm Jonathan Stewart, and welcome to CleanerWatt. In October of 2014, Tesla first offered customers the ability to pre-purchase autopilot capability within a tech package. At that time, Tesla stated that autopilot would include semi-autonomous drive and parking capabilities, but it was not designed for full self-driving. The actual software enabling autopilot was released in mid-October of 2015 as a part of Tesla software version 7.0. The first version of Autopilot was not intended to be a self-driving system. In fact, in an October 2014 Tesla blog post, they had this to say, quote, Our goal with the introduction of this new hardware and software is not to enable driverless cars, which are still years away from becoming a reality. In October of 2016, Tesla launched Hardware 2.0. Tesla started to use the term Enhanced Autopilot to refer to the Hardware 2 capabilities that were not available in Hardware Version 1. They also stated that all new vehicles as of that time came with all the necessary sensing and computer hardware for future full self-driving. In April of 2017, Tesla updated the hardware computer once again to what has been called Hardware 2.5. It included an updated forward radar system, as well as a second node enabled for the NVIDIA chip for redundancy. According to an Electrek article, Tesla had this to say about Hardware 2.5. The internal name Hardware 2.5 is an overstatement, and instead it should be called something more like Hardware 2.1. This hardware set has some added computing and wiring redundancy, which very slightly improves reliability, but it does not have an additional Pascal GPU. In April of 2019, Tesla held an investor day where they unveiled their new in-house designed full self-driving computer. This system has increased performance and is now believed to be necessary for full self-driving. Previous customers that paid for the full self-driving package are having their cars retrofitted with a new full self-driving computer. Now that we've gone over some basic history with the evolution of the autopilot system, I want to actually talk about the core features within each version. In October of 2015, with the launch of Tesla software version 7.0, Autopilot was enabled for vehicles that had paid for the tech package. Autopilot 1.0 included features like Auto Steer, which included lane keep and lane centering, traffic aware cruise control, auto braking and emergency collision avoidance, visualizations, auto lane changes with an indicator or signal movement, auto park features, automatic headlights, and also a basic summon feature. In October of 2016, Tesla launched Hardware 2.0. Hardware 2.0 has many of the same core features as Hardware 1.0, but with future software updates, it allowed for Smart Summon and Navigate on Autopilot. Smart Summon allows your car to come find you in a parking lot, and Navigate on Autopilot allows you to drive from on-ramp to off-ramp with auto lane changes as well. Autopilot 2.5 has the same core features as Hardware 2.0, but with added redundancy and reliability. In April of 2019, the details about Hardware 3.0 were released. This system is based off Tesla's own in-house designed full self-driving computer. It is now believed that this system will be full self-driving capable with future software updates. Previous versions of Tesla Autopilot hardware will not have the computing power necessary for full self-driving. Once again, Tesla has kept the same core features that they started with in Autopilot 1.0, but they have improved, and they have also added enhanced visualizations where the car can visualize and display a lot more than it used to. These enhanced visualizations are really a full self-driving preview and allow you to see stoplights when they're red, when they're green, allow you to see stop signs on the screen, as well as lane markings, trash cans, cones, and other things. And as I mentioned, when Tesla releases the software to make their vehicles full self-driving capable, hardware 3.0 will be necessary. According to Tesla's website, coming later in 2020, Tesla's vehicles with hardware 3.0 will be able to recognize and respond to traffic lights and stop signs, and they will be able to perform automatic driving on city streets. So now that we've actually gone over some of the basic features within each system and what has changed over the years, I actually want to talk about the sensors on the vehicle and what has changed from version 1.0 to version 
So you'll notice there version 1.0 actually only had one front facing camera being used for the autopilot system. It also included radar, 12 ultrasonic sensors, and the GPS and digital maps. The processor that powered this all was made by Mobileye and it was their IQ3 system. Starting with hardware 2.0, Tesla vehicles now have eight cameras on the vehicle, giving the autopilot system a 360 degree view. With version 2.0, they also upgraded the ultrasonic sensors, giving them an extended range, and they switched to a custom NVIDIA chip based off the Drive PX2 system. With version 2.5, they updated their radar to a different brand from Bosch to Continental, and they added redundancy to the computer system. In hardware version 3.0, Tesla switched to their own in-house designed full self-driving computer, which has much more processing power. Here's a table showing the actual processing difference between these versions of hardware. Hardware version 1.0 was capable of processing 36 frames per second and was able to perform 0.256 trillion operations per second. For version 2.0 and version 2.5, the frames per second moved up to 110 and the Terra operations per second moved up to 12. And of course, the big leap happened with Tesla's full self-driving computer, Hardware 3.0, where the system is able to process 2300 frames per second and is able to perform 144 trillion operations per second. I pulled this information from teslatap.com, and if you're interested in seeing the full article, I have a link in the description below. But here's another view just showing the hardware changes between Hardware 1.0 to Hardware 3.0 not only the core processors, but also the RAM differences, the processing power, the frames per second, and also the estimated power consumed by these chips. You'll see there that hardware 3.0 is quite an improvement over even hardware 2.5. The computing power of hardware 3.0 is substantially more than previous versions of Tesla's hardware. The last thing I wanna compare is the pricing for autopilot. In 2014, Autopilot was launched as a tech package that cost $2,500 at the time of purchase. In 2016, this pricing structure changed where you paid $5,000 for an enhanced Autopilot and an additional $3,000 for future full self-driving features. In 2019, they changed this once again where you paid $3,000 for basic Autopilot and an additional $5,000 for the future full self-driving package. Presently, if you purchase a Tesla vehicle, basic autopilot is included as a standard feature within the vehicle. And in order to get the full self-driving package with some features available now and other features being available in the future, you pay $7,000. So now that we've covered a lot of the major differences between version 1.0 to 3.0, I want to talk a little bit about the future and about hardware 3. So will hardware 3 really be enough to get to full self-driving feature complete? Well, I think it's important first to note that feature complete does not mean that there will be no mistakes. When Tesla releases full self-driving software, it will still require driver's assistance and intervention. It will be a beta software release just like their current software suite is. I really think this beta approach to autopilot feature refinement is very smart because it allows for tons of real world experience and data as well as being very cost effective. Because of this approach, Tesla already has a lot of real-world data and has a large fleet of vehicles that will be full self-driving capable in the near future. Lex Friedman has compiled a lot of data on Tesla Autopilot and he has come up with a number of around 2.2 billion miles driven on Autopilot as of January of 2020. He projects that by the end of 2020 and the very beginning of 2021, this number should be somewhere around 4.2 billion miles driven on Tesla Autopilot. The processing power from Tesla's Hardware 3 should be sufficient to actually take advantage of all this data, and this new hardware system has redundancy and safety built in. On top of this, Tesla recently announced a fundamental rewrite to their software, which should allow them to get to feature complete in the very near future. So as you can see from 2015, when Tesla first launched Autopilot, a lot has changed, but the biggest changes are coming in the near future. Automatic driving on city streets will be a game changer and will set Tesla further apart from the competition. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something as well. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. 
And if you like the video, please consider clicking the like button so other people can find it as well. Thank you so much.